All right, guys, welcome back to Marshall Remodel. This is the Mad County Build Series, and on today's show, we're going to be installing the two lower level toilets. And I'm going to show you guys how to level your toilets on a concrete floor. And you're probably asking yourself, why isn't it perfectly level? Well, when these guys pour the concrete, it's almost next to impossible to get that concrete perfectly level, especially around pipes, around the toilet flanges because when they're running their power trowels, it's gonna push some of that concrete, that upper, that top cream up around that flange, and it's almost impossible to get it perfectly level. So it's gonna slightly slope away from that flange. So you can do this a couple different ways. One, you can grind the concrete and try to get all that level. The problem with that is, is sometimes you have to go out a little bit further than what the toilet covers. So. The second uh, way to do it is by grinding some of the inner flange of the toilet off, and I'll show you how to do that. I don't like to use shims because I don't want you to be able to see the shims, and I want that toilet to be rock solid. So let's go ahead and jump in to installing the toilet on a concrete floor, which is what you're going to have to do if you're going to build a post frame house. For this, so this has got a slight slant to it away and so i'm going to show you how i deal with that with toilets um, it might be a little unconventional but I so here's the base of the toilet sitting upside down this is the part that goes over your plumbing and then this right here and these two are level with this ring here and that's what sits on the floor but being that uh, right up around that flange is a little bit higher of concrete, this part and these two parts hit the concrete first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a diamond grinder, just on my grinder, just a diamond wheel, and I'm gonna grind these down, just taking my time you gotta use a diamond grinder on these. This porcelain um, won't grind with like a grinding wheel. So I'm gonna grind this one, this one, and this one down. And what that d does is it allows this whole part to sit on the floor. So while I'm doing this, I really take my time going really slow so I don't take any big chunks of porcelain out. As long as you're using this diamond um, wheel on here, you should have no problem. And you're better off taking a little at a time, going and checking it, come back out and taking a little more. Um, just depending on how unlevel or how much that concrete kind of slopes up to your flange will depend on how much you need to take off. We got this ground down where I think it needs to be. That one and that one. So then this edge will touch everywhere, making it real stable. There's a, there might be just a touch of space right here, but it sits really, really nice. It was really wobbly side to side uh, before I did that. Um, but once I put my whack, or my ring on there and my bolts, I think this is gonna sit really nice. So, gotta have a nice solid toilet. So anyway, now that we got that leveled, Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to install the rest of this toilet. Just keep in mind when you're doing this, this is an American standard uh, toilet. All toilets, the bottom of them will probably be a little different. So you're just gonna have to look at them and see uh, what you can do. But this is 
an easy solution that works really well um, and it's quick. So that's what I chose to do. Now we're gonna get the rest of this thing installed. All right guys, so the first step here, now that we got that leveled, is to get the base set and typically use a wax ring, but I tried one of these on the toilet we've used up until this point, just because I knew I was gonna have to take it in and out a few times, and it works really, really well. It's a waxless, waxless toilet ring. Um, you can, it's got different um, seals in here for above the floor applique, if your flange is above the floor, if your flange is even, and if your flange is below the floor. So it gives you all the options in one kit. Um, and like I said, I use, I've typically always used wax rings, but I use this and I didn't have any leaking. I took the toilet out in, in and out numerous, numerous times. And every time I put it back in, there was no leaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these on all of them. Um, it's got two rings, a thicker ring and a smaller ring. This is the only ring I'm gonna need since my flange sits above the floor. And when you sit your toilet on there, you're gonna know, you're gonna feel if it can um, squeeze the ring down or if there isn't contact. So you'll know uh, kind of what you need to use. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on. See how that fits on there. It's got this that fits over each of the bolts to kind of hold it in place. Just want to make sure these are across from each other. So I can tell that that's the right size ring because. When I set the toilet on there, it holds it up just a little bit. You can see it kind of rocks. When I tighten these bolts down, that'll suck that down. And then we'll get a nice tight seal there. All right guys, you don't, when you're putting the toilet on, either if you're using a wax ring or one of these, you wanna put downward pressure on the toilet as you tighten these, and you definitely don't wanna over tighten these as you could break this, but this toilet's on there, snug down, and it's solid, and that's what we want. All right, so the next part is to get the bowl fastened on there. As you can see, there's two bolts already through. There's a seal. It fits right here. You have to line that up. And then that sits over the top there. And then we'll use these little lock washers to hold the bolts in, and then we'll tighten them on with these bolts and washer or nuts and washers and this supplied tool. Now the key to this is not is to tighten these even and not, not to over tighten them. So we're gonna just take this, put it in the tool. That one started. When you're tightening these bolts, you want to tighten them a little on each side. So tighten this one a little, then go to the other side, and then it'll start pulling this down until it touches. 
and that I gotta pull this left side down a little bit more and then that should that should be it. And that's the top right there. And you can put a screwdriver on it if you need to. Um, you usually never have to. So we should be good to hook our water line up, which I already have attached. So I just gotta hook that hose up to the toilet. You can fill it and check for leaks. Got bath number two toilet. Go ahead and turn that on. Turn it on here. So for those of you who don't know how a toilet works, this is a float. And once the water comes up, it'll raise that float and shut the water off. And then when you flush it, it lifts that little flange up, allows all the water to dump down through the toilet, which drops the float and then refills the tank. Pretty simple process. You can see the float has water on it now, so that'll raise up. And you can see this needs adjustment because there's an overflow. So to adjust it, Adjust that float down so it shuts this off sooner. Flush it. By adjusting that, this screw counterclockwise, it lowers the float so it'll shut the switch off sooner. So you can see when I filled it the first time, the water was going over into the overflow. So I had to lower that float so it'll shut the water off sooner so it doesn't just keep running. All right, the water's down, I don't know, quarter, three eighths of an inch from the overflow. So that'll work for me. So now I put the top on, put my lid on, and uh, should be good to go. We flush it a couple times. There's no water anywhere. So guys, installing, if you've never done it before, installing a toilet's uh, not too bad. Can be a little tricky on concrete floor, but grinding those little flanges off on the bottom, for me, it's worked great. Um, I've had no problems doing that. You just wanna make sure you use a diamond, uh, diamond blade on your grinder and just take your time and it'll grind that porcelain right off, right off. And then that toilet, it'll allow that outside flange of that toilet to sit on the floor and you get a nice solid sitting toilet. So we appreciate you guys watching. We'll have a lot more uh, content coming soon as we're finally getting floors and stuff like that put in. So stay tuned and we will catch you on the next video.